Hello. Welcome to Let the Earth Breathe. My wife, Ann Milligan, and I converted our suburban yard into a botanical park using native plants. And you can too. Native plants are the black-thumbed gardener's friend. Like us, you can tune every window in your house to the Nature Channel. Here's how. That's Anne on the left. Our new house came with gravel and koi ponds. We had attended a one-day seminar on rain gardens using native plants, and it sounded like a great way to create a garden paradise in our new home. That's the first time it rained. Clearly, this is a work in progress. Let the Earth Breathe is accessible. It's full of pictures and has some useful plant lists that you don't have to be a botanist to understand. This is the same place a few months later. That blue hose is an overflow from several rain barrels. We did not modify the soil. This is what it looks like now. Channeling rain from the roof pretty much takes care of all our watering needs. Using native plants means they are adapted to local conditions and they're perennials that come back bigger and stronger every year. Now we're giving them away because they thrive and spread. This is the shady side of our house. Native ferns love shade. We removed about a dump truck full of gravel and filled in the hole where the koi pond was. Ferns are survivors that have been around for millions of years, and it is fascinating to watch them grow. This is the same spot a few years later. What a difference. These are maidenhair ferns. They make wonderful borders. It's mind boggling how much rain comes off the roof. A 10 minute rain will fill up all of our rain gardens and all of our rain barrels. The water is absorbed within two or three days, so we don't have a problem with mosquitoes because their gestation period is seven days. This is rain garden number two. The water comes off the roof and goes down that rain gutter through a pipe under the path and empties into the rain garden. That's an indigo bush. And that's me before we learned that you don't have to rototill the soil to have a rain garden. Native plants are very adaptable. Here's a nice view of rain garden too. That's that same indigo bush a few years later. Here's another view of Rain Garden 2. If we can do this, you can too, and Let the Earth Breathe will show you how. This shows the beginning of Rain Garden number three. The water comes off the gutter on the left, and also the overflow from Rain Gardens 1 and 2. That's Anne taking a well-deserved break. 
This is what the garden looks like after a rain. All of that water will be absorbed into the ground within two or three days. Native vines are wonderful to garden with. And this is one of the things we cover in Let the Earth Breathe. Uh, Let the Earth Breathe is very accessible. It's meant to be hands-on. It's just a whole lot of fun, and it makes for a nice coffee table book. Coral honeysuckle, a native vine, is a hummingbird magnet. Thank you for watching this short video about Let the Earth Breathe. There's more information at the website listed below, where you can also buy copies of our book. Let the Earth Breathe is a fun way to turn your suburban yard into a botanical park. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Happy gardening.